Hello everyone, Rainier Games here and welcome to episode 6 of the Valheim Let's Play series. Uh, I've been doing a little bit uh, since the last episode, as you can see I made a road over here. And also made this little um, fenced in area here where we're gonna have some plants and so on whenever we get to that. Uh, I also did a little uh, exploring and found some more circling cores, so I made a charcoal kiln. So uh, I've been actually cooking up a lot of charcoal as you can see here. There's two piles here, there's is 50, so that's 100, and then there's 20 in here as well. And uh, I also made the bronze axe. I said um, I was going to make it in this episode, but I figured out I'd just make it in between episodes, so I could just chop a little uh, wood and so on, so you guys can see I've chopped a lot of wood here as well. And what else have I done? Yeah, I mined a little bit more ore, so we have a little bit more ore here. So we have most of the stuff we need for this episode. And I also sorted out a little bit in the storage chest here. Not very much, but a little bit. So I sorted it a little bit here, but I can see we definitely need a storage room. Um, so uh, yeah. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to start a little bit with enchanting, hopefully. And we should also make our boat and I also want to make some better uh, bronze weapons. At least one bronze weapon. I don't think I have that much um, in guts. So I think we're gonna start with making a mace. So what is it we need to make a mace again? Okay, so we need wood, bronze, and some leather scraps. Okay, so we're just gonna go over and grab all the leather scraps we have. And I have some wood outdoors, but I also have it in the chest here in case they were to need it for something else. So. Having a little outdoors and a little indoors. Then we're go gonna go over here and then we're gonna make the bronze mace. You can also make the sword, of course, but undeads are normally weaker to blunt damage, and uh, the mace is then perfect for blunt damage. You also have. I'm not sure if I can make it yet. Um, I think you need. Oh, there it is. It's stag breaker. That one does an area attack blunt uh, damage. Um, I do like it and I do not like it. It's kind of like a mix. But I don't think I'm going to make it myself. But if we suddenly get a drop, then of course we're going to keep on to it. But we're just going to go for the mace. So here. And that requires 8 bronze. But we have plenty. So we make that. And now we have a mace. So uh, while I was um, preparing stuff uh, off camera, I did actually find a better uh, magic club that has 4 plus in fire damage. Which was actually very nice. And I also found a spear that has lighting, lightning damage. Uh, but again, as you can see, the blunt damage on the club is 35. While on the normal club is just 12. So either way, the mace is still better. But it would be awesome to have fire damage on our mace. That would be so cool. But we're going to enchant. You can enchant your tools and so on yourself. Uh, by disenchanting... Um, tools you find and then with that you can in, uh, enchant your own tools of course there's a random chance of getting certain things but you, the uh, kind of like stronger enchantments you put on it the higher or more enchantments and strong enchantments you get on it as well so we're gonna try that a little bit and then see how that goes so what we're gonna be needing to make is we're gonna be needing to make the enchanter and that again requires three circling cores and i think if i was correct. Uh, I had three left because I found five. No, darn it. I had two and I need three. Darn it. <laughs> okay, so I, I need to find one more core. Darn it. Why didn't I check this before starting recording? Uh, okay, so that is something I will need to do. But let us just do the other stuff first then. So we're going to need to make some stuff for the boat then. Because I w want to just at least make the boat. And let us see here. The boat needs 30 fine wood and 80 bronze nails and then deer hide and then resin. Okay, so everything except the bronze nails is easy to get. And let us see bronze nails. I'm gonna need to make this one four times. One and two and three. And then here comes the fourth one. There, now we have enough of the nails. And then we're going to just break this one, which is 50 fine wood. And then we're going to go and get some deer hide. No. 
<laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we need a little bit more deer hide. That is just great. Okay, uh, I did not plan that. Great. Uh, there. Hello. Just gonna see here quickly if we can be lucky. Normally the spawns one. Right around the corner here. Of course, as you can see, I've been chopping a little wood. I do plan on replanting most, most of most of it because uh, I kind of like when there's forest around. So I don't want it to um, become too much plain. Uh, this is just great. I'm doing everything I think I'm doing right to... Um, oh, okay, you look a little dangerous. To prepare myself and then I actually forget the basics. Because I'm so used to having an abundance of it and then I'm actually not having it. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually find a there. Okay, there I think we have one. Now let's just see if I can actually hit. Uh, regening there, okay. Oh, darn it. Okay, didn't run actually. Though. Okay, there we go. Uh, then please just give me two hide and Rainier is happy dappy. Ah, three, okay. Thank you. Let's just test our maze. Those has no chance. And then we're just gonna run back here and uh, then we can make our boat, right? All right then, so let us see. We needed some resin. So we're just gonna grab a bunch and there we have the their hide and that should be enough. And we have some necks here, but I shouldn't do much damage here. And yeah, we need a crafting bench as well. So we're just gonna make a crafting bench. I do want to make some sort of harbor here and everything. Maybe we, we, we make a small one and then when we actually start building with stone, then we expand it. So we're just gonna build it here and then we're just gonna go on here and we're gonna set our boat. Awesome, and then we have our boat and I can see I built it the wrong way. But as you can see, there's some storage here. So you have um, four slots where you can put some ore and then we have the boat here. Awesome. So I don't think we're gonna sail quite yet in this episode. I just wanted to have it done, built, and uh, then, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I just wanted to get it built and then uh, have it done with. And so let us see. I think I actually need to go and find another circling corp because I really wanted to do enchanting in this episode. That was kind of like what I had planned, but that didn't work out when I actually didn't um, have everything prepared here. So I think we're just gonna try out our mace in the um, uh, burial chambers and then we'll see how well that one goes. So I think. I'm just going to be placing some stuff in here and I'm just going to cut on over to um, where I am at the burial chamber. I forgot to mention that uh, I have been marking out this road, but it's not perfect yet. I've just kind of been marking it. So it's going just through random terrain here. And also um, I made a bridge actually. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly the bridge. Uh, I can actually just fly a little here just follow the road i'm gonna be terraforming it a little bit and uh, make it look a lot nicer of course i heard that some people say terraforming can actually have a little effect on your cpu uh, in this game but i don't see any effects yet so i am not too worried and i've been making this bridge here a fairly simple bridge but uh, yeah i think it, it will work out and then there's a workbench in the middle here with a little roof so we could actually use it if we so needed to. Oh, okay. Uh, hello there. You guys are using the bridge as well. Come back here. <laughs> this bridge requires taxes if you want to cross it. Um, so yeah, uh, just been making a simple road. We're gonna make it a lot nicer. And then the bridge here, and I haven't really been doing anything on the other side. So just me building because I love building, so then you guys have seen that and then I'm just gonna jump over to um, where we are at the burial chamber.
Okay guys, so then we're back at the barrel chamber here. This is one we have uh, been through, but again, um, the barrel chambers and so on do reset so and so often. Uh, with the mods, of course, in vanilla it doesn't. But uh, I kind of like like that I can go back and do some uh, more challenging um, burial chambers over and over. They do, they should at least get harder for each time. So um, that is that at least. Uh, let's see. I don't think there was that many certain cores in this one, but I, I'm not sure if the interior of it changes too with the mod. That I'm a little unsure of. Um, but I guess we'll see. Hello there. And I'm just gonna shoot some magic. If Oh, that was the wrong one. There. Regenning skeleton. I can see it's a lot easier now with the mace here. I can do a lot more damage. Okay, there's one certain core here. That's actually all we need. So that's why I was thinking like, let's just go over here. And you guys did mention that I should actually use the torch looking around for stuff on the floor. So that is a great tip. Uh, I do tend to do it, but when I'm recording, for some reason, I don't. So, uh, yeah, always bring a torch. And let us see. This one gives glowing. Ah, cool. So we can ha actually have a glowing effect. So that would actually be a nice enchantment when you actually are out in these dungeons. Then you never need to hold up a torch because you actually just glow. So that's cool, but uh, I think I'm gonna keep to the health regen. And we're gonna eat some food, actually. I didn't bring much food, but we'd be fine. So I just want to do the rest of the exploring of the um, uh, barrel chamber here as well. Do I have my shield on? Oops. Okay, there's just one door left though. So let's see what awaits us. Skeleton, and I was just thinking don't blow out the light, but he wanted to, so he did. <laughs> okay, nothing this way either. So it's a fairly small one. Still have some strong enemies though, so... For some reason I almost feel like the, these are a little easier right now. But it could just be me too though, with the maze. Of course I haven't stumbled upon any, like, four star enemies. So... It's still a little... Okay, that's an armored one, so you can see he... It's a little harder to kill, and it's just one star, so picture a four star. That would be a pain in the ass. Okay. Can I kill you guys? Thank you. And that's the end of the burial chamber. Let's see. Blunt damage reduction plus three and stamina regen on health critical plus 20. And you give stamina. Okay, I'm just going to keep the stamina instead. And for some reason, I've never seen this button take all. I don't know why I don't use it. <laughs> there, uh, press on that and then you just take everything from the chest. Uh, or use control, which I should be better at using. And uh, let's see. Then, then we're done here. And then I'm just going to be running back into our base. I'm not going to be exploring too much. And then we're going to start into enchanting. Because that's kind of what I want this episode to be about. Compared to just me running around exploring again because we have plenty more exploring to do across the sea and um, different biomes and so on so I don't want like 20 episodes to be uh, just about exploring the same biome. I can see I have a little bit um, space there and there's copper right here so I'm just going to be mining a little copper and then I'm going to be heading back to the base but you guys don't have to watch me mine copper so I see you guys at the base. Okay, so my mining didn't quite go as well because I have this five-star fire-infused grayling. And I'm not quite sure if I uh, can take him, but I guess we're just going to give it a try. Uh, oh, wait, what? Okay, my magic just killed him in one shot. Oh, it was just a... I was just a grayling. Ah, okay, that, that explains. If it was a gray dwarf, I think it would have been a lot harder. But just a grayling, then we're fine. I'm just going to continue mining here and... Uh, talk with you guys very soon. Okay guys, so I just made it back home and uh, Put some ore in the furnace and I think we're just gonna head to bed here so everything speeds up But first let's just put our loot in the chest here And I think the rest should just go downstairs. Yes, so we're just heading to bed and then The furnace are working while we are sleeping 
and then we do want to get into a little enchanting. At least I want to explain to you guys how it works, or at least how I understand it works. So here we have some copper. I've got all of it didn't actually finish. Ah, interesting. Could be that we went to bed uh, a little late, and that that's why. So we just put in the copper there, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna fire up with some more coal. Do I have some coal in here? Actually, do. So I just want to have this one working while we are working on other stuff. Maybe I should clean my inventory slightly bit, just so it's not that cramped and I constantly need to go and change stuff. Oh. And let's see, I actually want a bit of wood with me. We can have the stone as well, but the trophy and the food and everything we can put away. There, and we can take the resin as well. And then I'm gonna take this as well and put it away. That's the fire damage one. I do want to keep some of these, so I want to make sure we don't disenchant the wrong items. And let's put away that. And that, and then one last. Back here, I just have the uh, gray draft eye and the resin in one. So there. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here and let us see. Just let me repair everything. Just a uh, thing I like doing. Okay, and then we're just gonna go crafting and we are gonna make uh, this one. Just gonna need three copper. And that means we're gonna need. Ah, okay, thank you, Furnace. And what this one needs, it needs to be close to a forge, not a workbench, but a forge. So I'm just gonna be putting it here. It kind of looks very cool too, like this crystal that's chained to other hovering like magnet crystals almost. And that's the enchanter. And then as you can see here, we got actually a few more um, tabs here. So we had a craft upgrade and recycle with a recycle mod, but now we have uh, sacrifice and enchant. So as you can see to enchant something, we are gonna require all these three items. And to sacrifice, we do get certain items from sacrificing. But these ones, uh, the magic runes, I do believe you can only get uh, from defeating bosses or buying them from the merchant. So that's the only way to acquire those. So you can uh, defeat the bosses over and over and then get those. And um, I don't know if we have... Uh, we haven't learned any crafting recipes yet, but you can actually craft higher ranked by using the stuff you get from sacrificing so we are just gonna go and do that so first let me just put everything there and then what we want to do is i figured out everything that's kind of in these chests and this chest at least uh, i don't want so this is just stuff i'm gonna disenchant and say bye bye to uh, but what i want to do is i don't want to get rid of these so i'm just gonna place them here for now and then I'm gonna take all of this. Let's just take one chest at a time. So how the sacrifice work is all these items is only the items that's down here, not my kind of like toolbar. Uh, those that don't, shouldn't come on this list here or those that I have equipped on my armor, only those that are underneath here and then I can disenchant them. So as you can see, for example, the hole here that's uh, yellow which is a rare, I believe. A rare hoe. Um, gives us different enchanting items compared to the blue ones. So the higher rank, the other resources they give. So we're just going to go and sacrifice this. And it should give us some recipes. Yeah, then we can make rare dust and so on. So you can see if we go here. I should think you craft that here, maybe. Yeah, you craft that here. So you can see. To make the rare dust, for example, we could either have two rare shards and two coins, or five of those blue magic dusts. And the same goes with everything else too. You can either do that or you can use those with some coins. And to get these, for example, you can sacrifice um, different trophies. Uh, I'm not sure if I can show it here. Let's just go and get a trophy. Let's actually get one of each i think this one gives a yellow and i think uh one of these just gives a blue one so let's see here if we go on sacrifice again 
you can see this one gives a yellow rare shard while this one gives a magic shard like a blue one so a blue the lowest and then yellow purple and green i believe so we're just gonna do that and then it gives us a shard with some more recipes just so you can upgrade the, to higher rank and so on like epic shard and yeah so on so we're just gonna disenchant absolutely everything in here that's gonna save us for a lot of space eventually because these stack up to 100 compared to one item taking one slot so we're just hamming our way here okay there and so and then you can see we have a bit of different items here and then we're just gonna do the same with this chest let's take absolutely everything i know some of these enchantments are actually not too bad but again i want better enchantments so then i don't really mind so we're gonna sacrifice these as well i'm glad that we actually have a few more rare ones because then maybe we could even get close to enchanting uh, our tools with the rare because i don't want a bronze uh, tools to be enchanted with anything less than rare. I don't want the weakest enchantments. I actually want uh, Some good enchantments on them So let us see There and then there was a few more in the last chest there uh, I haven't actually gone through that one recalling weight and then we have movement and armor. Oh, oh Well, it's rags and then blunt damage and stamina regen and then glowing the glowing one is a little nice, but again, we are going to get better armor anyway, so I'm just going to disenchant them all. I wish there was a way to actually choose your enchantment, but then, again, maybe that would be a little old card. It could actually, and I actually think there is actually a possibility to do it later on, I think, but I haven't gone that far. <laughs> I think you need to defeat the third boss at least, and gotten a little further, so that makes sense that you can't just be OP selecting exactly what enchantments you want. Uh, from the start off, but I uh, can come later, I think. I, no promises, though. Okay, so you can see we have a bit of different uh, enchanting items here. So what I'm going to do is, in the start, we're just going to have three different ones. And normally they just fill out one line here. So what I'm going to do is, on the first one, we're going to have yeah, maybe yellow on top. And let's actually do it like this. And then we can have blue on the bottom here. And that's kind of like counterpart of each other there. And then we're going to have the runes here. So what we are going to do now is actually we're going to fight the first boss again. And hopefully now, because we started enchanting, it should drop us a rune. I'm not sure if it's a guarantee every time. But he should drop us one. Whilst Rhaenyra will have a word with him. <laughs> um... So I'm just going to cook up a little meat here because it's not a very long travel. And we're going to have some honey with us. And then we already have a boar meat. So we should have everything. Oh, there's actually some... Oh, that, that's the stuff I didn't want to enchant. I was like, oh, some more stuff to enchant. And then I would have run over and just disenchanted it. Uh, this stuff right here, I actually just want to recycle. Uh, so we are just going to do that. Oh, wait. The food isn't like a furnace. <laughs> there. Okay. And then we're just going to go here. Recycle. You can actually recycle the their trophies too. And actually get hard antler. And then I don't think actually you have to even defeat the first boss. I'm not sure. But uh, we want to defeat the first boss. So <laughs> there. Recycle that. Recycle the hammer. I really like that you can recycle. Because it gives half the resources back of course so you don't you're not really winning on it but you're winning more than just having stuff uh, take your inventory space and then it just doesn't do anything i know the game has added so you can actually destroy your items but uh i don't like destroying stuff so then i end up just keeping it instead and then my inventory just gets super full uh okay and then i am just going to be placing this away of course it takes some space and let's go over and fight the first boss. So I'm just going to take the speed buff. I've been using this a little bit because... Yeah, you can see I'm going lightning fast. And maybe we should actually... 
eat a little too, so we actually healed up. And over here is the altar. I'm just gonna use the healing. And let's see, we're gonna have this one ready. And then we're gonna see if we die or not. Maybe I should activate the power. So now we have the power of Ake tier ourselves. And let's summon him. Or her. <clears throat> it's probably him because of the uh, antlers, I guess. Uh, I have the right arrows, yes. Let's see what we get. Please don't be quick. Okay, one star. So the shielded. Do we have a shield? Uh, are you stuck? Oh, okay. Yeah. So the first boss is normally fairly easy. Of course, now I have. There's a random chance of getting different things, so I shouldn't just jinx it. And then when I think it's super easy, then it actually is fairly hard. But now that we have a little magic. I don't fear the first boss too much, but I wonder how we're going to do with the second boss. I have actually no clue where the second boss even is. Yes. <laughs> I have a feeling fire arrows would actually be fairly good, though. Okay, what was that? Was that some sort of bug or something? Almost felt like he doubled up. Oh, okay. They're just luck was with us. Okay. Uh, oops. Ouch. I deserved that one because I, I pressed space instead. Okay, so he, uh, you throw the shield, so I have a feeling he probably has some sort of armor buff because he does uh, accept a lot of damage here. Of course, I know I could have made a better bow and everything could have gone faster, but. Uh, here we are. <laughs> Ouch. Actually, I still have a feeling I would actually do more damage, almost just melee him. But uh, again, he does a little damage, so I don't want to be too risky here. Uh, I was hoping for magic attack. Thank you. Okay, and then we should finish him up here. Uh, if he stopped hiding behind the tree. And whoop. And one last whoop. And there we go. So I did forget to mention that actually we need his head. And then we can sacrifice that to get the rune stone. So uh, that's why we couldn't get it in the first place. Because we needed the first head to actually progress in the game. So here we go. actually got a rare shield. Uh, block stamina use. Uh, minus 11 and I'm weightless. So that's nice, but if I wanted this shield, I actually would want the enchantment to um, uh, remove uh, movement speed. That would actually be the best. I actually see a deer here. But our... Oh, a curious deer. Okay. Our bow is fairly destroyed here, but we managed to get one shot there. And we got another trophy. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna use our speed buff again, and we're gonna bounce back home. Of course, that's dangerous jumping with this one because you do take foul damage. Okay, and then we're gonna go over to the forge here, and on sacrifice, you can see we have the ether trophy, and then we can sacrifice it for a magic rune. So that is cool, and then boom, we have a magic rune here, and then. This is just for demonstration. Of course, it's a little waste because I don't want to, in a way, um, waste these uh, items. But anyway, I just want to do it to show off what we can do. So first off, with the rune stone, as you guys could see, uh, if I want, I can choose different ones there from enchantment, I, uh, magic, and then rare, which requires a rare rune stone, and an epic, and then legendary. So uh, I can make actually the better rune stones, but that then costs us to actually have, let's see, to make a rare rune stone, I need five magic rune stones. So that would require me to kill the first boss five times 
or kill the Elder, which is the second boss, one time. And he drops, uh, his head then gets converted to a rare runestone, and then so on, I think. I'm not sure if the third one drops uh, the rare one, because I actually haven't defeated the third boss. So uh, I actually have no clue. Uh, so, I'm gonna just make a torch, actually. And, oh, you can actually craft those recipes here too, that I didn't know. I'm gonna make a torch, and then we're just gonna see if we're lucky with the enchantment, and if we're not, then uh, uh, too bad. But I would love a unbreaking torch. So that is why we're just gonna sacrifice the enchantment for demonstration uh, on the torture. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna make sure it's... Okay, yeah, we can see this one is a damaged one. We want to do it on this one. So you can see magic, we have an 80% chance of uh, two effects. Like you're always guaranteed one effect. And then you have 80% chance of getting another effect. 18 on another and then 2% uh, on the next. And then you can see this one gets 2, 3, 4, and 3, 4, 5, and so on and so on. So here you're guaranteed to get two enchantments, I think. And then here you're guaranteed to get three and then four, and then you can get more. So we're just gonna take the normal magic one and apply it on this one. And let's see what we get. Uh, no movement speed penalty, wow. Okay, so that torch, uh, yeah. That was a waste, but it was just to demonstrate to you guys. So now you can see normal torch, mi minus five in movement speed. This one has zero, so uh, you actually won't go slower uh, while holding it. So yeah, um, there we have that. And then I just wanted to do one, one last thing before we wrap up everything. Um, again, I haven't really made space for this, but I'm just gonna show you guys here. I'm just gonna grab some stone. And I do tend to actually gonna be making this off camera now, as I want to kind of like expand the furnace area here. But I'm just gonna show you guys and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make a fireplace and then I'm gonna be making the cauldron. And the cauldron should allow us to make a lot more recipes uh, in here. And to start you get some, a few recipes. And um, yeah, you can make queen's jam and boar jerky and other things that is definitely better and stronger foods. Um, and of course, I'm gonna get some more here too. Uh, like the uh, beef uh, in a board jerky, you can see 23, 23 and has a durability of 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, I think that is it. Um, I did want to actually make the cultivator too, though. Maybe we should just do that quickly, quickly, quickly. No, I don't have, I don't have enough resources because Rainier is out of resources. Yeah. Rainier is out of resources. So I uh, might be just be making that in uh, between episodes two. And I just start planting here and I will show you guys how that works. But uh, yeah, I'll see what I have time to. And this is not going to stand there, even though it looks a little cool though. But again, rain and then uh, that one turns out and then great. So yeah, uh, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here then guys. And want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm having... A blast, really fun playing uh, Valheim here and uh, recording and yeah. So uh, again, want to thank you guys so much for watching and uh, yeah. Until next time, guys, stay safe and bye. <laughs> I hope a storm doesn't come and just blow away the boat. <laughs> hey, shit. <laughs> It looks cool though.